Hello, welcome to this video on creating indexes with Fourscore. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly lay out the problem that Fourscore sets out to solve. Um, if you're using Fourscore, you know that you can basically navigate through all of your different scores through this directory right up here. Now, there's a problem for really long scores that either have multiple movements or sections, or even things like method books, or uh, books that contain lots and lots of songs, things like uh, fake books, real books. These present a little bit of a problem for search because these kinds of documents have many, many songs in them, but not really any way to navigate directly to any specific one. I'm gonna demonstrate this problem for you by searching for my copy of the real book. Here it is in PDF form. I can swipe through the pages. You'll notice here that um, the table of contents has actually no relationship to this document. I can't really search through any of those. I have to just kind of navigate by sight or use the scroller here, and this gets really difficult to do, especially because the book is so big, even the slightest little drag with my finger turns the page. Would be much easier if I could just search these by song. Well, now you can. In Fourscore version 10, the developers added a feature to add an index to a specific PDF file that's in your Fourscore database. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to first find a file that is an index. Now fortunately, uh, there are people who have actually made these already, and I have linked in this video a URL to a couple of indexes of very, very commonly used real books and fake books. So I'm gonna go there now, I have this pre-queued up in Safari. Now, the file format that Fourscore uses for an index is a CSV file, so basically a spreadsheet with song titles linked up to specific pages of a PDF. Now, I'm gonna go to the real book here. I'm gonna find real book one, and I'm gonna tap on it, and you'll see that Safari takes me into a CSV file on the web. You can see here, all of these page numbers are linked to the specific song titles in the PDF. Now, I could open this in a number of different apps, like I could open it in Numbers or Excel, it is a spreadsheet after all. But what I'm gonna do is open it in Fourscore, and if Fourscore isn't showing immediately in the upper right corner here, I can tap the More button and select the app. I wanna open it in, I'm gonna Choose copy to four score. And just like that, now it has imported the index file. Now here's how I actually associate that CSV file with the real book PDF. I have to be actually in the PDF that I wanna attach the index file to, which I am. I'm in the real book, volume one. And I'm gonna, this time, I'm gonna tap on the bookmark button, which is the picture of the book in the upper left corner. And then you can see here the word index in the upper left. I'm gonna tap that. And then Fourscore is gonna show me all the index files that I've imported into it. I'm gonna select real book one. And then you can see here, there's uh, a little bit of setup involved. Now, so now I have to tell Fourscore which one of the pages of this file is the title page and which one of these is the start page. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna find this top entry and I'm going to specify this as the title page. And then I'm gonna take this entry right here and I'm gonna specify this as the start page. So now you can see the change in the thumbnail. Fourscore has appropriately linked all of the different entries of this CSV file with the actual pages that correspond to the songs in the real book. So what I'm gonna do now is click the word save and you're gonna notice that now, when I click the bookmark button within this file, 
you can see here that I have all of the songs of the real book one showing up here and I can just go ahead and tap on one and it's gonna take me directly to that song. Again, I just go to the bookmark icon and I can find any of these songs directly. A huge time saver for anyone who's using materials like this. So that's it. Hopefully I've demystified the subject a little bit for you. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out to me on my website or on Twitter. Thanks for watching.